we've been exploring the charming Florida Keys in our self-converted Ford Transit camper van. Looking for beauty and free and expensive things to do? Sharing how we do van life? And how we're finding free places to park overnight. Today we're leaving Key West and making our way back up through the Keys, hoping to take care of some unfinished business. We're just a tiny bit excited. Today we finally get to use our new inflatable kayak to see how it'll do and if it was worth the purchase. Look, we're kayaking, woohoo! We're looking forward to getting to explore the Keys on the water instead of just from land. We try a new place for overnight parking. <laughs> and as usual, we're trying to have as much fun as possible while doing it all. Oops, I think these guys got stuck in the sand. So I'm making some hot chocolate this morning, but I think the hot chocolate packets are a little boring and I don't have any whipped cream or fun things. So I'm trying something new this morning. It's a mint Hershey's Kiss. We're gonna put it in the cocoa, stir it up, make it a little more rich and a little hint of mint. Good morning. We spent last night here in Key West and we drove out to the beach this morning to make some breakfast before we get back on the road to head north. This morning we're making some oatmeal. I pre-measured it out. It's some oatmeal with some, let's see what else do I put, chia seeds and I think some wheat germ or something. No, flaxseed flour. And then we've got some raisins. And the very first item I ever bought when we found out we were getting this van were these aqua measuring cups and I've never used them until now. So this is the inaugural measuring cup use. We're going to add a little apple to the oatmeal, make it yummy, a little brown sugar, a little milk, and that'll be it. We'll put it in our bellies. A little brown sugar goodness. A little love. And breakfast is ready. Yummy. How's the porridge? Oh, it's delicious. All right, so while we were having breakfast, I had the inverter on on our Delta and I charged our my laptop for a little while. Uh, it was pretty much dead and I got it up to I think about 70% in maybe about 45 minutes. And it drew down our power from about 85 or 86% to 81%. So there you have it. Now I could do some work on my laptop and do some other things that we need to do. Well, we've officially left Key West. We were there for a few days, enjoyed our time, and now we are heading back north our stop today, this morning, is Bahia Honda State Park, which we were just at uh, several days ago. But we didn't get to use the inflatable kayak, so I'm hoping we can use that now. I'm very excited about that. How's your hot chocolate treating you? Mm, it's very good. Minty fresh deliciousness. Look at the color of that water right now. Blue. I'd say more of a turquoise. Turquoise. <laughs> All right, 
so here we are again. Bahia Honda. And I believe... I think it's the same lady. I think it's the same price, too. $9 unless you have the state park pass for two people. Alright, let's head to Sandspur Beach. Prepping for the maiden voyage. So do you want to share what you've learned so far? Yes, don't set the kayak up in the sand. It's too messy. Do it in the parking lot instead. Now Steve needs to time me and see how long this takes. What time is it? 10.52. Well, that's great. <laughs> that is, uh. is it broken now? That's what you get for buying your kayak out of a bubble gum machine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, at least it's not broken. So this should take about 15 minutes to get it all inflated. You have to start with the base. They're all numbered in order. There's uh, five compartments you have to blow up. First the floor, then the two sides, and then the front and back, just a little bit in sections. For those keeping track at home, she's on minute seven. Oh, I better hurry. It's almost done though. I'll have to do those two little ends, so that's less than 15 minutes. Oh, I have to do the seats though. Alright, I didn't inflate the bottom enough. So it actually has this little thing you can tell. But now I have to get this. Shoot. So you have to inflate it a little bit more. It's gonna be a challenge, but. Another lesson, follow the instructions. You're supposed to measure that first before you do the sides. Right, we're on minute 18. No, we're not. Can't deny the truth, Audra. <laughs> All right. So we're at 21 minutes no. later. Who's counting? Would you say that you are now finished? Yes. All right. We got the seats in. Scooby snack, <laughs> and then we just have to put the fin in when we get out there. All right, the maiden voyage of the SS Cooter. We're kayaking. <laughs> is underway. Audra, I can't see land anymore. <laughs> oh wait, there it is. We're in a seabed of grass. We're supposed to be able to see maybe some eagle rays or some baby sharks. I don't know, we'll see. I guess all that matters is that we're having fun.
laying down on the job. <laughs> now I'm laying down on the job. Ah, oh, this is living. Just floating around, enjoying the sun, the pretty water. Floating out to sea. No boats. So we've learned the trick to kayaking fast is walking it. <laughs> this was Steve's idea. We got out to take a little break and he, th he thinks we'll make faster progress this way. <laughs> he might be right, especially with an inflatable kayak. Well, I guess if anything, this gives our arms a little break. I hope there aren't too many trolls underneath this bridge, because I did not bring my troll pepper spray. So Audra got this waterproof bag that came with her phone case, and I was just reading it now. I don't know if you can see it, so I'll read it to you. It reads, outer packaging is made of PVC waterproof material suitable for a vacation, or the water suitable for vacation, which gooing out to sea, and water sports waterproof and sand away. So there you have it, <laughs> gooing out to sea. Well, we live to tell about it. Maiden voyage was successful. So what are your initial thoughts on your maiden voyage? I had fun. It's a bit of a job to get it set up and torn back down, but I think it would be a pain if you have a regular kayak anyway, they get it unloaded and stuff. So I like it. It was worth the, uh, I think we paid $140 for it. So it looks like most tandem kayaks are about $30 an hour to rent. So if we get four, five, six uses out of this, we should be good. We were out for a couple hours today, so even maybe fewer uses out of it if you go out for that long. Anyway, it was fun. Starting the deflate process. Now is when I gotta put my weight into it. Right. Yeah. Where's hey, uh, Lancaster. Uh, Lancaster. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we're facing the giants, right? I did not expect that. Well, it's kind of catterwonky, but it fits. park is simply to get showers because this is the park that has the private showers.
So that was good to get a shower. The water was cold. I did learn a lesson about taking a cold shower. Start from the bottom and work your way up. I started to get my hair wet and I thought, oh, that's dumb. Now I'm cold up here. So I stopped and I shaved my legs first and then I worked my way up and did my hair last. Feels good to be clean. Now we left the park, we drove a little bit, uh, we backtracked a little bit to a bridge. We're gonna try to catch the sunset. I think those lines might be hot. Something we've noticed over the past couple days, these birds, I believe they're cormorants, like to gather on the electrical line close to the pole. They seem to do this right about sunset every night. Kind of interesting. Got him! It's because you're cool slinky shirt. Yeah, couldn't resist slinky. <laughs> Yeah! Woo! <laughs> two for two! I'm gonna see if I can go three for three. One coming. <laughs> Here he comes! He did it back, the he just gesture, did, he but it So that was fun. That was a good place to watch the sunset goof off a little bit. Hey, two for three. That's 66%. <laughs> That's not bad. That's about what I got in high school. <laughs> So this afternoon, we had more of our rotisserie chicken and made some croissant sandwiches. Now we're using up more of our spinach and chicken to make salad. Well, tonight we're trying something new for overnight parking. Um, we checked iOverlander. And someone had said that as long as you call and ask, McDonald's in Tavernier will let you stay. And we kind of were skeptical of that. Um, but we called. And the manager here, Betty, that's here tonight, is super friendly. She came out. She showed us where to park. Uh, told us we're welcome anytime. So it's really nice to have a place where we don't have to worry. So we actually picked up a couple things to eat to support them. And we're going to eat now. Things out, huh? Do you approve of parking at McDonald's overnight? Hey, kitty. So we got stocked up on some ice and water. I guess Steve got a sandwich and some chicken nuggets, part of a deal. Mm, nuggets. Nuggets. And I, because it's my birthday month, got a free apple fritter. Uh, which is special because my mom and I always had apple fritters for special treats when I was young. And with that, we called it a night. Next time, join us as we wrap up this Florida Keys series. We'll be doing a little more kayaking, a little more van lifing, a little more goofing off, and we'll share a recap of the trip, including how much we spent. But until then, 
Here are a few bloopers that will hopefully leave you with a smile for your day. How's the porridge? It's delicious and fortifying. With vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. And vitamin C. Get it? That. <laughs> <laughs> I was just panning over to get the scene, and I caught you dropping your oatmeal, Steve. Can't take him anywhere. So it looks like... They're not there during the day. Today. Oh, never mind. We'll edit that part out. I saw him this morning. Are you videoing? I don't think so. <laughs> nice. oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get some. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed coming along with us, hit that like button, drop us a comment, and click that subscribe button for future van life adventures if you haven't already. See you next time.